Hey guys, hope you are fine. Some of you have already seen my tutorials in which I have used designs, whether they are modeled or used as a texture for a model. I have used the same modeling technique to create Baroque design for a dome, which I have used in array modifier tutorial, and same goes for the collection instance tutorial. So today I'm gonna talk about how you can approach a design and how you can model Baroque design in Blender. Before that, I will model this simple flower design so that you will be able to understand how this actually works. So for creating the center part of this flower, you will need a cylinder in your scene by pressing shift A and select cylinder and then make sure to give less vertices. I usually use 8, 12 and 16 for small part of the scene, but for this I'm using 16. After that, rotate it on 90 degree on Y axis and edit mode and then scale it down. After doing that, select the front faces and insert it 4 times. After the last insert, press Ctrl with the plus key from the numpad to grow selection. And then press the G key to move it out. Select the outer faces of the mesh and do the same. After that, Add an edge loop to the center of the mesh and delete the back edges of the mesh. After that just add edge loops and make borders for every edges so that it will give you better shading when you will apply shade smooth to it. Then add a plane to the scene and in edit mode rotate it on 90 degree y axis and scale it down. And then move it up on z axis. If it looks shorter for a petal select the top edge and move it up on the z axis. Now add three edge loops to the mid side of the meshes then one by one select the horizontal edges and scale them down and try to give it a shape of a leaf. Then add three edge loops vertically. After that select the center edge loop and then deselect the top and bottom vertices and move it back side of the mesh. Now select edge loops that are opposite to mid edge loop and deselect the same vertices as we did before. After that move it out of the mesh. Now select the horizontal edge loop that are in the middle of the mesh and press the O key to use the proportional tool and pull it out. Now you just need to add edge loops and make borders of every vertical edges. After that, move it closer to the front face of the center part. Now go to orthographic view and press Alt D and just after that, press R to rotate it and then press 45 value from the numpad to give rotation value and then press enter. After that, press Shift R to rotate and repeat previous step. And then in edit mode, you can also move it down. After that, I have just duplicated it inside the edit mode and positioned it in between the petals. Then for the materials, you can give gold or alloy. You can give any color to it. Make sure to give metal color value to 1 and roughness value to 0.4 or 0.5. Now for more complex one, I will break the previous workflow into steps so that you may get familiar with the modeling workflow of the Baroque design. For the first step, you will need to add a reference picture in your scene, press shift A and select the background image for, for your scene and then scale it down. 
Then for the second step, add a plane in your scene and in edit mode, rotate it on 90 degree and in object mode, move it up towards the reference picture. Try to trace the design as much as possible. For modeling the design, you will need to focus on modeling topology. Try to extrude the edges and follow the branches first and then model the leaves separately. For the third step, add edge loops in middle of every branches and leaves. For the fourth step, you will select these edges and pull them out. You can also bevel the edges which you have applied in the center section of the design to get curve in the mesh. For the fifth and last step, when you are done, add shade smooth in object mode then check auto smooth option and this is how i have created baroque design for the gate hope you are now understand the process if you like my tutorial then subscribe and follow me on patreon where you will be able to get the project file that i have used in my tutorials thanks for watching